And welcome everybody back on RBN. We're here in the top of the first inning of the Season 10 RBC World Series. Right now, we just saw Weehawk strike out to end the inning. We'll head into the bottom of the first. Before we started streaming, we saw a one-run solo home run to break the tie early in this game. If we look at the remainder of the series, we'll see very close matchups. That was the first run that the West Virginia Mountaineers have scored since September 12th, going to show how long this series has been. They got shut out in games two and three, one at BB&T, one at Ames Field. Starting on the mound for the Mountaineers is going to be Tyler Austin. And leading off for the Suns is going to be Xavier. He'll take ball one to start off his AB, 1-0. Xavier's going to hit that one into the right center field gap. High Josh has it. Throw to first. It's going to be off the mark. He'll be safe at first. Even though sliding into Gone first forever, is totally Aaron not allowed. Gone forever, Aaron Hernandez. Apparently sliding into first was made illegal relatively recently, because I don't remember that being a thing. Tough stuff up now with a runner on first. He'll take... Whoa! Hit that one well into left center field. Brooklyn's got it in left, but he's got no play. Duke's there as well. First and second to start off this inning. Two consecutive hits here in the bottom of the first for the Suns. Alex is going to hit that one into the infield. Got to play at second. Goes for the doubler. He'll get it. Two down. Double play there for Weehawk, I believe. So it'll be a runner on third with two down. Up now for the Suns, Garrett. Trying to capitalize on this opportunity. He's going to point into center field. And Tyler Austin will take the play ball here. That one was not a play ball. Here is the call from Doug42. PB. Here comes the pitch from Tyler Austin. First one's going to be high. Taken for a ball. 1-0. Swings through that one. That was on the inside. Inside corner. 1-1. One one. Probably going to be called a ball. Garrett's going to smack that one into left center. Duke's got it. Throw into first. Where's the ball? He missed the throw, and it's going to be dead. And that's an early run tie game now already. Duke's going to make a big error there. Whether or not it was his fault is a question for those watching. So it'll be a runner on first now with two outs for only King TJ. Here's the play ball for Only King. First pitch from Tyler. Alex is going to steal second base easily. Ran as soon as the play ball was called. So it'll move, a run move to a runner in relative scoring position with two outs. Only King. Meatball. Gone. Over the wall. 3-1 to one, Union Port. West Virginia... Got that early run, but they are crumbling here early. This will be a two-run lead for the Suns. So leading off now for the Suns, with nobody on and two outs, it's going to be Cyber. He'll take the first pitch. That'll be called ball one low. 1-0. He'll hit that one into right center right over Weehawk's head. Doog misses it. Another base hit. 
And another error from that center fielder from West Virginia. Gold glove candidate. Just not putting them together today. Aubie Aubert up now. The seventh batter in the Suns lineup. He'll take a strike. 0-1. Swings through that one, 0 and 2. Takes another one. Just low, says the home plate umpire. 1 and 2, and he'll swing through that. That's the inning. So, three runs on a handful of hits. One man left on base. We'll move into the top second now. 3 to 1, Union Port. So, Union Port really got back on track there. They made up for that solo home run mistake that they had in top one. Now the top of the West Virginia order will come up. Doog leading off. Play ball is called. Cyber to Doog. First pitch. Taken. Ball one. 1-0. One -oh. Takes another one. This one's called two and doe. And that one's taken again. Not a swing from Doog yet. That one called against him. Two and one. Two and one from Cyber. Right at his bat, he'll hit that one. Off the center field wall, it looks like this one's going to be a base hit for Doog as they throw that against the dugout wall. So, everyone getting hits today. Play ball for Tyler. to make up for his strikeout in top two, top one, sorry. He'll swing through that, one and one. Drop bats that, fells it back, one and two. Two and two now for Tyler. Full count now. Here's the payoff pitch from Cyber. Runner on first. He takes it. Walk is the call. One and two for the Mountaineers. Neither team being able to get the ball through the strike zone without it being hit. Now Broken Elias, MVP candidate, looking to prove himself as the main guy for that position once we go to the award ceremony. Here's the play ball from Doug42. Cyber, first pitch to Broken. Swings through it. Misses. By a lot. 0-1. Oh He'll take 1-1. One one. Broken takes it. 2-1. Swings through that. 2-2. Two and two. Not very many solid pitches to Broken yet, Miss A.B., but it's still 2-2 two and two here. Takes another one. Full count. That one was low downstairs. What will Broken do on full count? He'll swing through it. He's out. One out. Up now with one out. Team owner of West Virginia. That's going to be high, Josh. 1-1-1. One, one, one. A one for high, Josh. And Doog stole third. Runners on the corners. He's safe. So now a chance to score a run with a base hit has er, for high, Josh. He'll hit that one deep to left or to right field, sorry. And he's got a run for sure, and the ball's going to roll into the tarp. Runners will freeze at first and second. 3-2, to two, Suns, dead was called. This is one of the most high-scoring games I've seen in RBC up to this point since we've had Season 8 begin over two seasons ago. 
It's probably the long, the large distance between each of the games that makes people's fielding quite rusty. Weehawk takes a strike to start off his AB. Oh, nope, sorry, that was a ball apparently, 1-0. 1-1 one, one is that call. Weehawk standing in the back of the box. He'll take again. Called again. 1-2. and two. Here's the 1-2 pitch to Weehawk. Meet to me. That'll be the call. Strike three. Two down. So now runners on first and second. This time for the number six hole batter. Or no, the leadoff man. Doog. Unless he's AFK. He is here. Okay. So West Virginia sitting in both dugouts, apparently. And runners on first and second. Here's the play ball from Doug. First pitch from Cyber to Doug. Going to be taken. Call it a strike. 0-1. Takes another one. This one's low. 1-1. One one. Takes again. 2-1. Strike, two and two. Cyber one strike away from getting out of this inning with only one run allowed. Runners on one and two. What'll Doog do here? He'll take. Call. Just low, full count. Here's the payoff pitch. Runners on first and second. They should be running on this one. Let's watch this from the rear cam. Swings through it. Strike three. That's the inning. So... One run on four hits, two men left on base. We'll head into the bottom of the second inning. 3-2 West Virginia, or 3-2 Union Port, sorry. Play ball is called for Xavier, who will be leading off for the Suns, looking to extend their lead here as he'll take a C-frame ball, 2-0. Swings at an outside fastball, 2-1. and one. Takes another outside pitch, 3-1. and one. Swings through that one, though, full count. He'll hit that one right to Weehawk. He makes the grab, throw into first, right on time, one down. Weehawk, undebatably probably the best infielder in RBC, probably history. Very consistent throwing with both the infield glove and outfield glove from those close ranges and being right where he needs to be at the right time. Here's tough stuff up to bat now. Takes ball one, 1-0. One -oh. Dials it back, 1-1. One -one. Takes outside, 2-1. and one. Uh, Is he appealing that? That was a ball. Yep, there it is, 2-1 and one from Doug. That's an interesting appeal decision. High, 3-1 and one there. Tyler Austin, the tough stuff. Takes another one. That one looked downstairs. Ball four is the call. Runner on first now with one out. Fairly competitive game so far. As Alex comes up to bat, Season 9 ML MVP won the World Series with the Knights. He'll take first pitch ball just low, according to home plate umpire Doug42. He'll swing through that one, 1-1, one and one, as Bag to King talks trash about Alex from the rafters. Tyler Russell keeping an eye on tough stuff. And we will too, as Alex is going to take another one. This one called 2-1, and one, just barely low. Alex swings at a high pitch, 2-2. Two and two. Tyler Austin focusing on the batter now. He'll hit that one. It'll hit off of Tough Stuff. He's going to be called out for that interference. Oh, a double play. What a throw from Weehawk. He's out at first. At least that's what I'm assuming. We'll get a, we'll get a replay here. Sponsored by Coastal Airlines. Of that play there from Weehawk. He's going to throw it right at Alex's bat, and he'll get weak contact right in the next pitch. Throw it right at Alex's bat, get weak contact, hits off of tough stuff, gets the tag there, doesn't even need it, and he is out at first. What a play from Weehawk. 
and that will end the inning. No runs, no hit, one walk, one man left, or nobody left on base. We'll move into top three, 3-2 three, Union Port. What a play from Weehawk. As I said before, undoubtedly the best infielder in RBC history. And a good hit there from Tyler Austin to start off the West Virginia third, but they will get the out. One down. Now up to the plate. Broken. Got that home run in the first. Going for MVP, as I said before. Time is called by Broken, trying to get his composure before he goes out to hit. Here's play ball. First pitch to Broken is taken, 1-0. Takes another one, this one called 2 and 0. Oh. Broken's got the count advantage. I only expect a swing here, and he'll give one. Hits off. Whoa, what a grab there from Alex. The throw in a first right on time. What a play there from left fielder. VX Alex. Got that one on the hop. And we'll move to quick two outs. Defense here either been really good or really bad, apparently. As High Josh now comes up with two down and nobody on. Takes the first one. Called a ball. 1-0. Um, could get an easy OBB on, on him there. 2-0 <laughs> and o for High Josh after taking that low pitch. He'll continue to go for his OBB stance, and they'll hit that one right to his sh right to the shortstop. And he'll miss that one. Cyber is going to grab it on the backup, though. Hi, Josh. Further showing his incapability to keep his mouth shut, saying, easy, let's go, after his dinker single. <clears throat> Play ball for Weehawk. He'll take a pretty... No, that, that was a ball, apparently. 1-0 to start off his AB. Takes one. 1-1. One, one. That's in there. Runner on first, two outs. Hits that one well. Fair. Down the right field line, it's going to have some backspin. Weehawk safe on first. Hi Josh safe on second. They're going to freeze there. Two out rally potentially for the Mountaineers, and Doug will come up to bat with runners on one and two. Waiting on the play ball from Doug. There it is. Cyber looking to get out of this inning with no damage. He'll go. And hi, Josh. Caught out stealing. Slow move there from the West Virginia team owner. And he's going to complain about the call per usual, but that will be the inning. So, no runs on two hits. Two men left on base after hi, Josh is caught out stealing at third. We'll move on to bottom three, three two, Union Port still. The first inning of this game went by incredibly slowly. But the middle portions of this game seem to be going going by relatively quickly. A uh, quick look at the overall World Series. Union Port picked up games one and three. Um or no. Picked up games 2 and 3, winning them 4-0 and 3-0 respectively. The Mountaineers picked up game 1 at their home field 3-2. After this, we're going to head to BB&T to continue for game 5. Game 6 will be held here, and then game 7, if needed, will be held. And here we go, Weehawk with the play. As I was saying, game 7 will be held at BB&T. No play ball is the call, though. Yep, after it was a no swing. So they're going to restart with a 1-1 count. Here's the play ball. And Gary gets a good knock on that one. Off the left field wall. Broken and Duke into each other, but no play will be made. Garrett's got a single. Hi, Josh is obviously calling 
uh, blame onto Doug, even though it was actually a no-play ball. Now up to bat with a runner on first is only King. Here's the play ball for him. Swings and misses 0-1. Takes a ball, 1-1. 1-2, and two, swung at that one. Swings through that inside low pitch. Got him with the Ephus. One down. Good play. Or good pitch there from Tyler Austin. He's pitching a pretty decent game thus far. Here's the play ball for Cyber. He'll take the first pitch. It'll be called a ball. 1-0. Swings through that one as well. One and one. No swing, I believe. It'll be called as such. One and two count for Cyber. Weehawk using it as a practice rep. Here's the 1-2 count. Play ball. Takes the high one. We'll move to two each. And Cyber's set down on the strikes. Very strong third inning pitching from Tyler Austin. Without the bad play in the outfield, we could be out of here already. But Aubert's going to come up with a runner on first and two down. He'll hit that one well into left center. West Virginia's outfield proving not very great in the gaps, but they will prevail here. That looked like an out at first to me. We'll get the replay, sponsored by Coastal Airlines. Ooh, it could be said that he left the bag before he caught it. We'll have to see what the umpires are going to say here. They're apparently under review. We'll return to replay. Not a great angle from us here at RBN. The ball is caught right there, and Tyler appears to be off the bag. This might be called safe. We'll have to see. I'll display it a few times here. Nothing really more we can present evidence-wise. This could this call could go either way. We'll have to see the umpire's perspectives. Quick review is going to be the call. And with that, we'll take you to a quick word with our sponsor. Do you like row racing? Well, if so, join the Cookout Cup Series. About to start Season 2, we're looking for drivers interested in developing their skills in Division 2 and drivers looking to show off in D1. If you're interested, DM a Schlemmer for the Discord info. That was a word from the Cookout the Roblox Cookout Racing Association, they are looking for drivers, fans, and also safety crew for their races coming up soon. Any questions can be directed to the inbox of A. Schlemmer. Thank you. So we are now still waiting on the call from our officials. People are bypassing the Roblox filters using my username in the chat, waiting on the review from the umpires. So some quiet on the air, still waiting on something to happen we can see. UPS hoping to go with runners on first and second here in two outs. Doug, or not Doug, um, Xavier would be up for the Suns. If not, we will switch up and Doug will lead off for the Mountaineers in top four. First big review of the game. series has been pretty back and forth. The Suns having the advantage at least recently. Trying to 
continue that momentum into games four, five, and potentially six if needed. But the West Virginia Mountaineers started off big with a home run by Broken there. Got another run in the second inning. And here's a fun fact for you. Since the beginning of the RBC playoffs, the Cookout Racing Association has hosted over 30 races and events in the time that it's taken RBC to host 10 games. Um, and that's kind of unprecedented, especially since racing leagues usually run events at approximately one-fifth of the speed of your average row baseball league. We're still waiting on this call from the umpires. We have Doug 42 at home plate, Keaton 6 at first base. That's our umpiring crew for World Series Game 4. And the call from first base umpire Keaton will be safe one. So we'll continue with this two-out rally for, or we'll start now a two-out rally for the Suns with runners on first and second. Xavier comes up to bat now. And we'll have a play ball first pitch. To Xavier is going to be called ball one. Takes another one, two window. Takes another one, that's, oh, called a strike. That one looked outside to me. He'll take that, or swing through that one, two and two now. Xavier gets a hit right to him, and that's the inning. Weehawk will step on second, gets the first double play anyway. But, no runs, two hits, two men left on base. We'll head into top four now. A one-run advantage for the Suns. The Suns now six outs away from putting themselves up 3-1 in the World Series. And I can only imagine how resistant High Josh will be to schedule a game when he's down 3-1. Notable absent for the for the Mountaineers, Karma Shroom 2, after essentially throwing game 3, not present in the West Virginia lineup, Especially since he cannot pitch today. Play ball. First pitch to Dug is a strike. 0-1. Oh takes, takes one there. 1-1. One one. West Virginia only one swing away from tying this game up. Dug goes up 2-1. Takes another one. This one's going to go up 3-1. He's got a money ball here. Will he take it? He'll hit that one to left center. Fair ball is called. Tough stuff. Good play, one out. Five outs away now are the Mountaineers, or are the Suns. Up to bat now for the Mountaineers, Tyler Austin. Play ball. Takes one there. He's going to take it for a ball, 1 0. Takes another one. One and one barely is the call. That's going to be a strike. Swings hard through that one. One and two. He was going for the fences, looking to tie up his team's game right there. Here's the one-two pitch from Cyber. He's got the count advantage. What will he do? Fouls it back. One-two still. Play ball after the foul. Here's the pitch to Tyler. Takes one. Two and two. Here's the 2-2 two -two to Tyler. He'll take it. What's the call from Doug? Could go either way. Obviously appealing it to first base umpire Keaton 6. And knowing Keaton, it is indeed a full count. Here's the payoff. Swing and a miss. Strike 3. That's out number 2. Four outs away are the Suns. Broken up now. Probably the, or easily the biggest threat on the West Virginia offense in terms of hitting. He'll likely be receiving a couple pinch-hitting nods in the top of the fifth should they not be able to get the lead here. Time is called by Broken. Probably trying to get himself ready for this in, in, or upcoming AB. Very important for the course of the game and the series. And here we go. Play ball. First pitch from Cyber to Broken. 
Takes one, ball one. 1-0. One -oh. Broken much better when he gets the advantage early and counts, just like many other batters. What'll he get with the second pitch? Another ball, 2-0. Oh. Broken swings hard through that one, 2-1. Got that pre-swing going on, not a very great quality of that at ba of that batting style. And that 2-1 pitch is going to get called down to... Obviously appealing it, 3-1. Broken with a big money ball chance here. And it'll hit him! Hit by pitch is the call, Broken's going to head down to first. That pitch just got away from Cyber there. And they'll have a two-out base runner. Hi, Josh. Up to bat now. Here's the play ball from Cyber. Two high, Josh. Takes. 0-1. Called a strike. Hi, Josh, looking to make something of Broken standing on first. Moves to a 1-1 count. Swings through that. C-frame there, 1-2. One, one strike away from getting out of this inning and push them down to their final three outs. And that looks quite close. No, it'll be called a ball. 2-2 two and two off the call from Doug42. Gas, strike three. Hi, Josh is down on strikes. So, despite Broken's hit, no runs, one hit, one man left on base. Bottom four now. 3-2 Unionport. Unionport needs three outs to push this to a 3-1 lead, as I've said before. This is an import a vital game for their um, for their momentum. Here's play ball. Tyler Austin back on the hill pitching tough stuff. First pitch is going to be a ball one. And that looks like it'll be a hit by pitch. Oh no, it'll just be called a ball. Even though that literally went directly through him. That'll be 3-0 right there. No good pitches to tough stuff as of yet. And he'll late swing that one, I'm assuming, unless it's called fair. It's, it is called fair. That's a very interesting call. Looked quite late to me, but they're winning in the game, so won't see much resistance there from the Union Port bench. Notable absent for the Suns, Arcadian Delta, team owner, not present for reasons unexplained. First pitch is going to be a ball, 1-0 for Alex. Swings hard at the opposite field, won't, co won't connect there, 1-1. One, one. Takes, 2-1. Went out for that one. He'll hit that hard to left center. Center fielder, tough stuff, misses it. Whoa, big error there for Unionport center fielder. Not what we expect from that outfield. One of the strongest, if not the strongest, in the league this season. And that gives the Suns a chance to extend their lead with Garrett up and one out and a runner on first. Here we go, play ball for Garrett. And Alex immediately runs and is tagged out. What a... Oh, safe is the call. Immediate challenge from Hi Josh. And we're going to get a replay of that one here. And it looks like due to vision lag, Tyler Austin just didn't go into him enough. Unfortunate occurrence here for the West Virginia Mountaineers. That's a free out just taken away. We'll watch that replay one more time for those of you at home. There's no contact between the ball and Alex, unfortunately, for the Mountaineers. Just went through him on his screen, did not go ahead of him like you're supposed to, knowing vision lag is a factor here, especially in games like this. So we'll return to the field. This could be huge for the Suns' momentum, even if he doesn't score. Just knowing they caught the West Virginia sleep, the Mountaineers sleeping, could help them quite a bit, and that's just the message for the start of the review. We have no idea what the outcome could possibly be quite yet. So, and not only that, a loss of their challenge for the Mountaineers would be huge. Especially considering their last chance at the plate is coming up. 
this play is just giant, and I'm pretty sure he was safe. I'll play it one more time for those of you watching the replay. Just don't think he got the ball onto Alex when he was sliding in the second. That's an interesting product of these slide animations. They change your hitbox a little bit. And there's our waiting elevator music. But yeah, that's all the replays we need. And they're going to be playing music, and West Virginia is going to be mad. I, no, Hi Josh is going to be mad, sorry. Um, yeah, we'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. And we're back here at Ames Field as the umpires have the call for us. They're going to say after review, what will the call be? Call stands, no tag seen from either umpire's perspective. And I say fair call there. So it'll be a ru runner on second base with one out. Scoring position opportunity for Garrett. Let's see if he can convert this or at least set up only King in a chance to convert this into an ever important insurance run bottom four one out play ball no play ball was called there but here's the play ball from Doug pitches it high he's gonna take a ball 1-0 even though he swung particularly late I would not personally call that we'll just watch this replay really quick so we can see the pitch come in and the swing relatively late we'll see if the umpire is going to call that one he's going to call it a ball or what will we call it oh one indeed oh one is the call oh way okay here's the strike alex is going to be sent back to second since the umpire was checking a call here's play ball right at the bat no swing oh and two this is exactly how Tyler Austin wished to start this AB. 0-2 count. One strike away from ending it early. Here's the ball. 1-2. and two. Swings and misses. That's strike three. Two outs. And the Mountaineers looking to send it into top five with only a one-run deficit. Only King up with a runner on second. A ground rule double increases their lead to two. Due up for the Mountaineers. Weehawk, Doog, and... Tyler and Alex steals third. A base hit now scores that ever important insurance run. And time is going to be called. But yeah, Weehawk leading off. I wouldn't be surprised if they pinch hit him immediately for broken. But Weehawk, Doog, then Tyler Austin, then broken, then High Josh is due up for the Mountaineers. They're going to have to poke across at least one or risk going. Whoa, what a hit there from. From Only King. Good play by High Josh, and that is the third out of the inning. We'll head to top five now. So, no runs on a hit, one man left on base. We'll head into top five. Last chance for the Mountaineers. So, CP is being called, I believe, and it looks like. We'll look over to the West, or to the Unionport bullpen. And it looks like VX Alex is going to be given the nod to close out this one. Unless he's not RP. Yep, Alex is going to be called upon to close out the game for the Suns. In sense of bias, I'm not going, or in, in sense of fairness, I'm not going to point out that call. I'll leave West Virginia to do that because they're good at that. 2 0 to start out Weehawks AB. And he'll hit that one dead center. Oh, it's off his head! 
No play. Tying run on base. He's going too. This could be huge. Off the tarp and Weehawks got a leadoff double. Huge momentum here for... And they're going to PH Doog for Broken. That's their first of three. So on deck now, puts that puts Tyler Austin on deck after Broken. So it's a runner on second. That tying run, the most important runner of the game. Play ball. Swings hard through the first pitch, 0-1. Alex beat Broken in the Season 9 World Series in a very similar situation. 1-1 takes 2-1 and one now. Swings hard through that one, two and two, broken, not looking very confident at the plate. And that pitch, just low is the call, full count. Here's the payoff for broken. What'll he throw? What'll he do at the plate? Takes, time was called. Time after, what's the call? Hi Josh immediately runs to the umpire. Calls being thrown around on either side. Hi, Josh asking for a redo. Sun's asking for a K. Redo will be the call since Doug wasn't looking, apparently. Full count. Here's the play ball. Alex looking to set broken down on strikes. He will! One down! And PH 2 of 3... And the Ames Field crowd here looking to send their their boys off to West Virginia to win there. As it's going to be PH 2 of 3. Weehawk is going to be put in for Tyler Austin. Very interesting decision there from Coach High Josh. Looks like he's looking for that momentum he gained with that double. Here's 1-0 is the call for that first pitch. Ball. Two outs away are the Suns. He'll take it. 1-1. One one. Called strike there. And he'll swing at that high pitch, 1-2. and two. Alex, very unpredictable as a closing pitcher up to this point. He'll throw a pitch close to the zone. It'll be low, though, One and two, or 2-2, two and two. or outside, sorry. That one's going to be low for sure. Full count for Weehawk. And the payoff, right down the pipe. I can't imagine he'll call that a ball. I don't see any feasible way he calls this pitch a ball. He's appealing to key. Oh, it's going to be a ball, isn't it? Strike three! Two outs down to their final out here in this game. A runner on second. I'm. <laughs> I can't imagine how anybody would think that ball, that pitch was a ball. Here, let's watch this replay here live on stream and we'll see full count right underneath that bat I can't imagine you couldn't hit that here's play ball takes a ball right there 1-0 and there's a strike 1-1 one and one. broken Elias up for his at bat looking to continue this game for the Mountaineers he'll take a ball there 2-1 No swing. And now, down to their final strike. Broken Elias up for the Mountaineers. Two and two. Play ball. Oh, wait. That was... I'm confused. Was that a legal steal? I don't know. Either way, he's on third. The tying run advances. And, oh, an unlucky no swing. Broken's going to stay up to bat. <laughs> Full count, payoff pitch, tying run on third. No play ball for that. It'll be no swing, two out of four. Here's the play ball. And that looks low. Broken takes first, high Josh up to bat. So the tying run stands on third. PH three of three for high Josh. Who will he bring up? It can't be Weehawk, it can't be Broken. 
It's got to be Doog or Tyler. Who is he going to bring up to bat? Is High Josh going to take it himself? So no play PH is going to be called here for High Josh. Two out of three. In the most important spot for his team thus far, he can either poke one across, end the game, or walk. He'll hit that one to right. The play at right, that's the game! Three to one lead is held by the Unionport Suns. And the crowds at Ames Field chanting, hey, 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 goodbye to the Mountaineers as they will send off their players to West Virginia to try to close out this series at BBNT. And we will be right back on RBN with some interviews if we can get them. down the stadium beautiful Ames field in Union Port this might be the final game here in RBC history should it be an unsuccessful attempt to revive the season and I will come down here in just a moment with winning pitcher for the Suns Cyber SF All right, we're now down here with the pitcher for the Union Port Suns, winning today, Cyber. You put across four very, very good innings. You allowed a run in the first and a run in the second, but you held hard through three and four. What did your performance mean to your team to try to put up a win here in your final game at home in the first set? Well, uh, you know, this was a good all-around game that... Uh, that says plenty to my team, and uh, it, it just put confidence when we hit that, when we scored those three runs in the first inning, and I didn't give up any runs after the second inning. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a big confidence boost. Now we lead 3-1 the series. It's looking pretty good. So your team started off with a loss but you've won the last three consecutive games do you think you can keep this momentum going and win it in west virginia or do you think you'll have to bring it home for game six? Oh yeah uh yeah i think we can keep this momentum going so it, do, you, do you know what your team's plan will be going into the fourth game of, or the fifth game of the series at bbnt ballpark in west virginia uh uh I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Um, what, what is your team's plan to win going into the um, fifth game of the series at West Virginia? Well, our team's plan is to just play some good baseball, you know? Just get out there, win. You know, I I can't go way into it, but, you know, we're going we're gonna to try to play some good baseball, win the next game. So... Obviously, this is the first time the Union Port Suns have made it really deep into the RBC playoffs, their first World Series appearance in franchise history. What do you think it means to the people of Union Port to see their team finally on the big stage? Oh, yeah. I, I'll i tell them right now I've been there, and that feeling is amazing. Just seeing your hometown team make it and making it to the big stage, it it's really great. All right, well, congratulations on your strong pitching performance. Two, two earned runs over four innings, so around eight or nine hits. Uh, congratulations on your performance, and good luck to your team at BB&T 
um, in game five. Okay, thank you. All right, that was CyberSF, winning pitcher of today's game, and I am H. Lummer signing off for RBN. We'll see you at game number five in West Virginia to potentially close out the Season 10 RBC World Series. Thank you for watching, and have a good night.